again, picking up right where we left off. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist, and I recommend watching the previous videos. Today we're going to be looking at elevators and lifts and probably ceiling crushers if we have time. Let's go ahead and tab out of this. This is the level we've created so far. Let me just go ahead and oops, turn the grid on, snap to grid. I will make another hallway right here that leads to a, another room. And inside this sector, I will create another sector. And let's go ahead and move our 3D view into there by putting our mouse somewhere and hitting the apostrophe, turning like this. Let's go ahead and make the ceilings for this room 256, so they're a bit taller. And let's choose this sector here. And let's raise the floor up a bit right there, so it's halfway to the ceiling. And let's change the, the wall texture on that to be um, metal, that. So it looks kind of like, like it should be a lift. So I'm just throwing this lift in the middle of the room. Should probably change the floor texture too, something like that, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to give that a tag. We talked about that previously when we were doing doors. Let's go ahead and refresh the tag. It gave it a number of two because we want to use a unique ID and tag one is already assigned to our door over here. Now we need to activate this lift somehow. We can have the lift activate when we walk in the room if we want. So go ahead and what we'll do is we will select this wall here. We will give it tag of two since we know that. And now that we've done that, remember to click out of this box. Otherwise it may not remember, save it. So we do that. And now you can see this highlighted pink when we select that wall. We know they are linked, but we need to give it a type. We're going to choose and under categories, we're going to choose a lift or basically an elevator. And remember W means walk and S means switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, when you walk through this, we're going to lower the lift and we're going to have it do it more than once. So we will say R, which means it can be repeated. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose that. And now let's go ahead and control S, control T. We will walk over there. And now when I walk in that room, that lift should lower. I get on and a few seconds later, it should go up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can walk through it again and it lowers. Now again, if I was to change that wall, to one uh, W1 lift, I can save that and test it. And now when I walk in that room, it will lower, it will go up a few seconds later, and then that's it. It won't do it again because we said one, so it will only happen once. Another option would be to add a switch, uh, or we can have it click we can choose all four of these walls. We can give them a tag of two. Remember to click out of that box, choose, and we have lift, and we can choose that it's a switch. So SR lower, or we can do LR uh, fast. So it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna come down a little bit faster. All right, come in over here. We walk in once, it will lower, but that won't happen again when we walk through that door because it's set to one. Let it go back up. And now I can click on any of these four walls and you see how fast, how much faster it came down on that particular example. So that's, that's, that's the basics, basic, basics of, of lifts. But you have other options such as lowering floors. So let's say I'm going to create another little sector here. And I will also give that this texture and we'll go that and sector mode what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up like so. Perfect. Now I will give that a tag, a fresh tag. Fresh, so we'll give it three. And then we will give its walls a tag of three, remembering to click out of that box. Now we're going to say choose, and we can say instead of lift, we have lower floor or floor lower. And we have these different options. And again, the first thing is whether it's a switch or walk through, once or repeat, uh, and then we have that it's lowering, and LEF and HEF is, uh, I forget what E and F, but basically is it going to lower to the lowest uh, 
level that it's next to, the highest level it's next to, uh, or is it going to do that plus eight? So it will stop before it hits the bottom, or, and we'll do it fast or regular speed. So let's go ahead and I'm going to say that when we switch more than once, so SR, and of course you can narrow these down. So if I, I go SR, it's going to show me all these ones that are switches. These ones that say boom are specific because I chose boom as my port. And I'm assuming that they may not work with other ports. So you may want to avoid those. That's also another thing you can choose generate over here. Um, but that might be specific to your port and it may not work in like the original Doom executable. I, I'm not sure, I haven't played around with that much, but just be aware of that. Um, but I'm gonna have it lower down uh, to the lowest level right here. So I'm gonna say that, save it. And now I can go in this room and that should lower. And when I walk over here, I can click that and it will lower down, slowly down, all the way down to the bottom. Now. I can also do, let's do switch floor down HEF plus eight fast and see what that does. So again, I can walk through here, that will lower when I come over and click on this. Boom, it came down fast, but you notice it went and it's eight above the highest floor around it, which is just this one floor, uh, which looks a little bit nicer because when it came all the way down, it looked weird that it um, it was completely flat with the matching floor. Now you have other options in here. Um, I want to say, I shouldn't say this without being sure. There is a way to have it so the textures match. You can also do, do basically the same concepts with rays. And these ones have textures. So you can have stuff raise up. Yeah, the ones that say TX. So if this was lower, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead, take this sector move it way down so it's underground. And now with the walls selected, we can say choose. They still have the same tag. Let's go ahead and do S1. And so now we can move it floor up 32 units, 24 pixels. Uh, you can have it go up. Um, I'm assuming L means lowest E, so, but I think this is the one we want. We're going to switch it, and it's going to be weird having that as a switch. Let's Instead of switch, let's do walk through once. We're going to have it move up to the lowest and match the texture. That's what we want right there. So I think if I've done this right, I should be able to come over here. And when I walk through here, boop, it's going to come up. And when it match hits, oh, it's going to keep going. It kept going. Which one did I pick? Up to the lowest texture. I, uh, let's try this one. Hey, why don't you do a tutorial about stuff you don't know about? The thing is, I, I, you know, as a creator of levels, there we go. It was a different texture. Now it's matched and it's going to come up and match. That's the one I wanted. So let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, before I walk through there, I'll look down and show you. It has a different texture, but once I walk through there, it's going to match the texture and move up. Uh, this is sort of thing you might want when you're working with things like water and lava to where it's kind of like once the floor gets there, it's matching. Or if that's water, when the water comes up, it's kind of like the water drained away. And now it's you see the ground underneath it. So anyway, a lot of different options in here and you, you start working with it. You're going to pick ones that you normally use. So. You know, obviously floor up, uh, H uh, is going to come up to the highest and then it's going to, you can choose fast and TX is for texture. I'm not sure why this one says TEX and it didn't match. Um, I don't know. Go to the Eureka uh, Doom Editor website. They do have documentation over there, which might explain that, but it's probably all documented very well other places. But I'm just giving you an idea of how these different options work. So that's it. Uh, I do thank you for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of the video. Check out my videos there. And I hope that you have a great day. Uh, if I didn't say, there's also a link to this full playlist in the description of this video. You definitely want to check that out. Um, if you started here, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. You're going to want to check out the previous videos. And you know, have fun making levels. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Have a great day.